Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to play Atari games on Linux. And we're going to be using the program Stella, so please check the article in the description for the information on how to get this program installed on your distribution of choice. So let's start out by going over the options. If you run this for the first time, you'll be automatically asked to select the ROM directory. And the ROM directory that I have right here, if we go down, is just, I'm just using the arrow keys and I just select Atari ROMs. And then from there, I can just press enter or I can use my controller, which I have hooked up right now. And I can select any of my two ROMs that I have. And I'm gonna select Defender. So it, So as you can see, the ROM runs pretty well and I played it directly with my controller. So if you want to learn how to set it up in the controller and you, uh, you're you confused, you've never used an emulator before, what you do is click options and then you go to input. And honestly, when you plug it in, it should automatically assign all of the information, the joystick buttons, uh, so you shouldn't need to worry about it. But if you want to manually change things, like I said, just go to input and then select any of the UI events or any of the emulation events. There are two different things, like UI events will change the way that the universal, sorry, the the emulator interacts with the user interface and uh, you can assign that to the buttons. But what's more important here is the emulation events and that if we go through, so we look for uh, P0 joystick up, down, and then P1 joystick up, down. So P0 is player one, I think, and then player, and then P1 is also just, other assignments for the uh, controller. It's automatically done, so you don't really need to worry about it. And uh, there's lots of different options. Uh, let's also cover the video settings. If you want to enable TV effects, you can go through here and click composite or S video or RGB or bad adjust, or you can customize it and make it look however you'd like. I like to leave it off personally, but uh, once you click your settings, you can just click the okay button. Same thing for audio. You can change the sample size uh, the frequency, you can turn sound off if you don't like it. You can audit the ROMs. There's a bunch of different settings. And when you're ready to play, uh, just like I said, just use your controller or use the arrow keys and the enter button, select a ROM and just start playing. It's a very, very, uh, very straightforward uh, emulator. It's not really that difficult to understand compared to a lot of the other ones we've covered on the channel. Uh, essentially, because there's not really uh, most Atari games, I think, don't use saving, so you don't really need to worry about that. So just plug in your favorite game and just start playing uh, and enjoy the Atari games, you guys. Uh, please check the article in the description. Uh, as always, where we do have a write-up about it, I go over exactly what you need to know uh, that I haven't covered in this video. But until next time, guys, I will see you in the next one.